examples on multiple integrals example number one sketch the region and evaluate and evaluate the integral and evaluate the integral so the first example 0 to 3 0 to 2 4 minus y square dy dx now here 0 to 2 is the limit of y and 0 to 3 is limit of x so here say this is the 2 and here is the 3 say 2 3 this is the region of integration now next we want to evaluate this integration both the limits are constant here so first 0 to 3 if we evaluate with respect to y then integration of 4 is 4y and integration of y square is y cube by 3 and the limit is from 0 to 2 dx so this is equal to 0 to 3 if we substitute the upper limit it is uh, 8 minus 8 cube by 3 and uh, uh, for lower limit it is 0 dx so this is 0 to 3 uh, 24 minus 8 it is 16 by 3 uh, dx since it is a uh, constant take it outside and integration of dx is x from 0 to 3 so this is 16 by 3 into 3 minus 0 so this 3 3 will get cancelled here and answer will be 16 next example number 2 b evaluate an integration minus 1 to 0 0 minus 1 to 1 x plus y plus 1 dx dy dx dy so here minus 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1 is the limit of x and minus 1 less than or equal to y less than or equal to 0 is the limit of y so now here see here minus 1 to 1 and minus 1 to 0 so this is the the region okay here is the minus 1 1 and here is minus 1 now to evaluate this integration again first we want to evaluate an integration with respect to x so this is equal to minus 1 to 0 integration of x is x square by 2 integration of y with respect to x is xy plus integration of 1 is x and the limit is from minus 1 to 1 dy now put the upper limit of x is 1 and lower limit is equal to minus 1 so this is equal to minus 1 to 0 the upper limit is 1 by 2 plus y plus 1 minus for lower limit it is again 1 by 2 minus y minus 1 into dy so now you can see here plus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 get cancelled here y minus minus y so it is 2y this is equal to minus 1 to 0 2y again 1 minus minus 1 is plus 2 dy dy so it is equal to now this is equal to if you take 2 outside it is minus 1 to 1 2, minus 1 to 0 y plus 1 uh, dy now integration of integration of y is y square by 2 and integration of 1 is y and the limit is from minus 1 to 0 for upper limit it is the value of the bracket inside the bracket is 0 for lower limit it is equal to 1 by 2 minus 1 so this is equal to uh, minus 1 by 2 minus 1 is minus 1 by 2 because of this sign it is plus 1 by 2 so 2 into 1 by 2 is equal to 1 so the value uh, therefore the the uh, value of the given uh, integration is equal to 1 example number 2 using polar coordinates using polar coordinates evaluate a 
and integration first minus 1 to 1 integration 0 to under root of 1 minus x square uh, dy dx now first we are going to sketch the given region so the given minus 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1 and 0 less than or equal to y less than or equal to under root of 1 minus x square now since y is equal to under root of 1 minus x square this implies y square is equal to 1 minus x square and x square plus y square is equal to 1 x square plus y square is equal to 1 we know that this is an equation of circle having center at origin and radius is equal to radius is equal to 1 so now this is minus 1 to plus 1 here is 1 and minus 1 now the limit of x uh, is from minus 1 to 1 and limit of y is 0 to 1 minus x square so our strip is so this is a strip it enters at y equal to 0 and it leaves at y equal to under root of 1 minus x square so this is the given uh, re region so the given region is what half circle semicircle semicircle okay minus 1 to 1 so the strip enter at enters at y equal to 0 and lose at y equal to under root of 1 minus x square and such a strip we are going to put from minus 1 to 1 so now to change the polar coordinate to change polar coordinate here put x is equal to put x is equal to r cos theta r cos theta y is equal to r sin theta x square plus y square is equal to r square and uh, and here jacobian or in other words jacobian is equal to r or in other words dx dy or dy dx is equal to r times uh, dr d theta okay so here you can see here the 0 less than or equal to r less than or equal to 1 if we consider a strip here so it enter r equal to 0 and it leaves uh, to r equal to 1 and theta is what 0 less than or equal to theta less than or equal to pi so the double integration f of x y f of x y dy dx is equal to integration is equal to double integration f of x is equal to r cos theta r sin theta r dr d theta so given integration is minus 1 to 0 0 to under root of 1 minus x square so minus 1 to 0 0 to under root of 1 minus x square dy dx is equal to the limit of theta is 0 to pi and limit of r is 0 to 1 okay r times dy dx is equal to r times dr and d theta so here both the limits are constant so the integration of d theta is equal to theta from 0 to pi and the integration of r is r square by 2 from 0 to 1 so this is pi times 1 by 2 minus 0 so this is equal to answer is what pi by 2 pi by 2 next example next example example number 2 evaluate and a double integration again by using change the polar coordinate minus 1 to 1 and minus under root of 1 minus y square to under root of 1 minus y square okay x square plus y square dy dx so first we are going to sketch the region dx dy not dy dx it is what dx dy here change the correction dx dy so the here minus under root of 1 minus y square less than or equal to x less than or equal to under root of 1 minus y square 
and minus 1 less than or equal to y less than or equal to y so x is equal to under root of 1 minus y square implies x is equal to under root of 1 minus y square this implies x square plus y square is equal to 1 so this is a circle having center at origin and radius is equal to 1 again now we are going to decide whether it is a semicircle or full circle uh, okay so for that uh, now the limit of x is enter at minus that is it enters at this here minus under root of 1 minus y square and leaves at under root of 1 minus y square and such a strip we are going to put from minus 1 to 1 so the total circle mm, the given region is what full circle so so now to change the polar coordinate put x is equal to put x is equal to r cos theta y is equal to r sin theta uh, r is uh, here uh, 0 less than or equal to r less than or equal to 1 and theta is what 0 less than or equal to theta less than or equal to 2 pi and x square plus y square is equal to x square plus y square is equal to r square and the dy dx or dx dy dx dy is equal to r times dr d theta and therefore the given integration minus 1 to 1 given integration minus 1 to 1 integration minus under root of 1 minus y square 2 under root of 1 minus y square x square plus y square uh, d uh, dx uh, dx uh, dy is equal to uh, 0 to 2 pi what is the r here r is 0 to 1 and theta is what 0 to 2 pi whole circle and 0 to 1 x square plus y square is r square and uh, dx dy is r time dr uh, d theta so again uh, integration of theta uh, d theta is theta from 0 to 2 pi and r square into r is r cube and integration of r cube is r raised to 4 divided by 4 from 0 to 1 so this is equal to 2 pi into 1 by 4 so this is equal to again answer is what pi by 2 pi by 2 next example next example change the order of the integration and show that example number three change the order of integration order of integration and show that show that zero to one integration zero to one y to one y to one e raised to minus x square dx uh, dy is equal to e minus 1 divided by twice e so first we want to change the order of integration that is the given integration is what dx dy we want to change its order to dy dx so the given limit is 0 less than or equal to y less than or equal to 1 and uh, y less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1 now if we draw this case, uh, the sketch of the given limit then here it is the y equal to x so this is the line y equal to x y equal to x uh, this is y equal to 1 y equal to 1 this is x is equal to 1 x is equal to 1 so now uh, the given strip is what enters at uh, line uh, y and leaves at 1 so this is the given strip horizontal strips it enters at x is equal to y and it leaves at x is equal to 1 and such a strip we are going to put from 0 to 1 so now once we identify our region we are going to uh, change uh, so this is the I am again so this is our region say here 1 here is also 1 ok now if we consider the vertical strips it enters at y equal to 0 
and it lives at y equal to x and such a step we are going to put from 0 to 1 so our new limit is 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1 and 0 less than or equal to y less than or equal to x and therefore this integration 0 to 1 integration 0 to 1 y to uh, 1 y to 1 e raised to minus x square minus x square uh, dx uh, dy is equal to integration 0 to 1 0 to x e raised to minus x square sorry e raised to minus x square uh, dy dx so first uh, using Fubini's second theorem first we want to evaluate an integration with respect to y so this is equal to 0 to 1 uh, e raised to minus x square integration of dy is y from 0 to x uh, dx now this is equal to uh, if we substitute the upper limit then this is 0 to 1 e raised to minus x square integration of y is x uh, dx so now again now to evaluate this integration substitute put here t is equal to x square this implies dt is equal to twice x dx and this implies x dx is equal to dt by 2 and the limit will be same for t and x that is you can check here for x and t it is 0 to 1 for t if we substitute here 0 then t is also 0 for x is equal to 1 t is 1 and therefore 0 to 1 0 to 1 e raised to minus x square x dx the value of x dx is dt by 2 so it is 0 to 1 and integration of x square is t uh, sorry value of x square is t uh, dt by 2 now integration of e raised to minus t is e raised to minus t by derivative of minus t is minus 1 from 0 to 1 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 so if we substitute here upper and lower limit we get 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 take minus and outside e raised to minus 1 e raised to 0 is 0 so this is nothing but the minus 1 by 2 e raised to minus 1 is 1 by e e raised to 0 here 1 1 okay so this is equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 1 minus e divided by e if you multiply by minus sign we get this is equal to e minus 1 divided by twice e so this is the limit this is this is what the value of the given integration it is e minus 1 divided by twice e now the next example last example number 4 evaluate an integration x y x plus y dx dy dy over the area area between y equal to x and y equal to x square so now the this side is the first we are going to determine the region bounded by this two curve so y equal to first we are going to determine intersecting point so x square is equal to x implies since one side is equal implies the other side is also equal so x square minus x is equal to 0 this implies x into x minus 1 equal to 0 so this implies x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 but x is equal to 0 implies y equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 implies y equal to 1 so the given region bounded between the two points and therefore intersecting points intersecting points are is equal to 0 0 and 1 1 now we can easily draw this y equal to x uh, for y equal to x consider two points say x y if x is 0 y is 0 x is 1 y is 1 and x is 2 then y is 2 for y equal to x square we know that this is an equation of parabola so say x y x is 0 y is 0 x is 1 y is 1 x is 2 y is 2 uh, 4 then x is minus 1 y is 1 x is minus 2 y is 4 by using this information by using this information 
we can easily draw this so this is y equal to x here y equal sorry y equal to x this is y equal to x square okay and this is here is the point 1 and here is also point 1 so this is the area bounded between these two curves uh, so now consider the vertical strip it enters at y equal to x square and it leaves at y equal to x and such a strip we are going to put from uh, 0 to 1 okay so the limits is 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1 and x square less than or equal to y less than or equal to x and therefore the given uh, uh, integration becomes xy to x plus y integration this is nothing but the 0 to 1 and x square to x xy x plus y dy dx by using Frobenius second theorem so first we want to evaluate an integration with respect to y if we simplify this it is nothing but if we take this 0 to 1 outside x and inside the bracket x square to x it is xy plus y square y square dy and then dx or here i am writing dx then this is equal to not here sorry we write here dx then this is equal to this is equal to 0 to 1 uh, x integration of uh, y is xy square by 2 addition of y square is y cube by 3 from x square to x uh, dx so this is equal to 0 to 1 x if we substitute the upper limit it is x cube by 3 plus x cube by 3 for lower limit it is equal to uh, x raised to 4 x raised to 5 by 2 and here mm, 4 here 6 x raised to 6 here 2 sorry not 3 x raised to 6 divided by 3 okay into dx so this is equal to mm, this is equal to 0 to 1 x times 2 plus 3 x cube plus 2 x cube it is equal to 2x cube plus 3x cube 5x cube by 6 minus here 3x raised to 5 so 3x raised to 5 uh, sorry not 3x raised to 5 it is what minus x raised to 5 divided by 2 minus x raised to 6 divided by 3 and dx so now if you multiply x inside the bracket this is equal to 0 to 1 5 x raised to 4 divided by 6 minus x raised to 6 divided by 2 minus x raised to 7 divided by 3 now into dx now if you take an integration with respect to x this is nothing but the 5 by 6 uh, uh, x raised to 5 divided by 5 minus uh, bracket completed 1 by 2 x raised to 7 divided by 7 from 0 to 1 and 1 by 3 x raised to 8 divided by 8 from 0 to 1 so all this limit is from 0 to 1 so this is equal to 5 by 6 into 1 by 5 minus 1 by 2 into 1 by 7 and minus 1 by 3 into 1 by 8 so this is equal to this 5 5 will get cancelled here and this is 1 by 6 minus 1 by 14 minus 1 by 24 so now if you simplify this uh, you will get the value of the given integration just simplify this 1 by 6 minus 1 by 24 1 by 14 you will get the value of the given integration